Well, this weekend we've been having a fix us on where we've been trying to uh, fix up some BBCs and get our Econet uh, working. And uh, we've been quite successful, actually. Uh, we have Econet now all round two sides of the room, which is brilliant. And we're just uh, getting some BBCs done up to connect to it. The nice thing about BBCs is that they're quite reliable. So uh, our biggest problems are the power supply capacitors. So uh, the capacitors in, in the power supply here, um, the ones that are connected to the mains are the ones that seem to, to wear out quickly. And, and if, you, if you turn an old BBC on without changing the capacitors, you get magic smoke come out. So we change the, the most critical capacitors so that, that hap so we you know, basically prevent the smoke from coming out. And uh, if there's any reliability work to be done on the BBC, we sometimes change some of the other components. This weekend we've been doing uh, masters and Bs. Uh, the masters have a battery pack on, so it's a simple case of just changing the battery pack uh, and then the master will start up correctly uh, as we want. So uh, again, another really simple job, uh, nice and quick and easy to do. But because the master keeps the battery separate, um, it's not too bad for corrosion. The Archimedes are a different case, so they are nickel cadmiums and they do leak onto the circuit board. It's uh, Acorn's proprietary networking system. Um, it dates from probably about 1980, 1981, and it was designed as a, as a cheap way of linking 8-bit computers together. Um, so network systems of the era used quite fat and expensive coaxial cable, and Acorn's innovation was to use a cheap cable much similar to telephone line type cable. And in fact, we built our reconnect with uh, ordinary Ethernet cable. Um, but the idea of Econet, of course, is, is back in the 1980s, a disk drive that you'd have on your BBC would probably cost almost as much as, as the BBC did. So um, to have uh, one disk drive shared between, say, 10 machines would really be quite a saving for a, for a school with, a, with an IT room. So that was its biggest advantage. And in our case, we've also put a printer on there so you can print out from uh, a station um, to one single printer. So uh, we've got the Econet set up on these machines against this wall here. Um, this is uh, really simulating what a school might have and actually our education team quite like the idea. So um, what we do in the room during the classroom session is we get the kids to type in a, a snake game. Uh, but what we can, we can do, if, if the kids are having trouble typing the snake game in, we can actually load it up from uh, the network. So for example, I can uh, do a catalogue and see what uh, programmes have been saved on the network. I can load the, uh, the programme in, so load snake, one of our type in games we do. Um, I can, uh, it's loaded now, I can now list the program and that's saved me typing it in. Uh, and if the kids want to get a, a printout of their work at the end of the session, then all I need to do is uh, simply send it to the printer. So, and, and there we go, it's coming out on the printer at the end of the room that's networked to this computer. So the kids have got something to take home with them now on a, on a realistic 1980s dot matrix printer with all the right sound effects. So um, hopefully that will add to their experience.